ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video from Asmarine Productions. This time I'm covering Dark Zone 8. Sadly, Dark Zone 8 is just a huge disappointment. This is what I could find in about a day span, walking around, pulsing with the, the recon pulse, or whatever it's called, the one that shows all the chests and division tech when it's nearby, and it's just not that much. However, the extraction zone is located very, well, it's in the center, but that's about it. Also a thing to note is that all the landmarks are underground, strangely enough, and there's a lot of passages above ground, which is weird as well, because there's not much to find. There's some dark zone chests, or actually there's quite a lot of dark zone chests around the area for the amount of loot you can get on other places. In comparison, it's quite a lot. but. Compared to the other zones, it's not a lot. Anyway, <clears throat> I could find four sealed cash chests, of which three are outside landmarks, and one of them is inside a landmark. And um, the only real benefit for this zone is that Dark Zone 7 tends to extract in Dark Zone 8 or in, in 6, which makes the Dark Zone 8 extraction zone a more dense place than you'd be used to in other zones. However, there's just not that much to get. It's it's a zone where you pass through if you're gonna clear Dark Zone 7 and then extract and then maybe pick up some stuff on the way back. That's pretty much what this zone is gonna do. What is interesting, however, is the one that is straight next to the extraction zone. That allows you to go to Dark Zone 9 and end up with just amount, the right amount of loot before you get to Dark Zone 9, where you can extract straight away because of the subway. The, the subway are the, they look similar. All the um, landmarks that are from the subway look the same, and these two actually. Um, from there on, what the only thing I could recommend you to do is either camp this extraction zone and kill people and farm their loot as a, a, a pro looting team, I guess, like rogue agents. Um, other than that, use the things you can find on your way out towards other zones, something like that. There's just not any interesting route besides it, because I could show you it, but it's just so inefficient compared to the other zones. So my advice is stay out, or if, uh, if you're going to do a, a certain amount of routes, after extracting at Dark Zone 8, go into the, the landmark right next to it, and then follow the train tracks all the way to Dark Zone 9, and then continue there because this is just it's just not worth it especially compared to Dark Zone 7 it's gonna take you such a long time walking around and stuff to get enough loot to even extract that it's quicker to walk to Dark Zone 7 get loot and walk back to Dark Zone 8 extract so yeah that's what I wanted to say about this zone uh, what I also wanted to mention is that um, there's a lot more red and I don't know, it's, it, it, this one looks a little bit more confusing than the one I made for Dark Zone 7, but that's because it just has a lot of passages. There's just so many ways through other than the roads, which is kind of interesting to see because that's something they didn't use to do as much in the Dark Zone 1 to 6. So that's still why this is interesting. I think this is probably the, the most interesting place to PvP at because there's just so many ways around in so many places. Uh, other than that, just just don't farm here. If you want to get loot, don't go to Dark Zone 8. Alright, that's been my advice for Dark Zone 8. And next time, uh, next Friday actually, there will be a video about Dark Zone 9. If you enjoyed or uh, if you want to download this screenshot that I made myself, you can find it in the links down below. I hope you enjoyed. I said that already, but... Hope to see you guys in the next video.